nails all her like that. Just okay, let's get started. Welcome to the neighborhood, Chrissy Werner, and she loves our doll. Well, this little this little thing, you love her. Hey now, giving away the neighborhood star. What are you talking about? <laughs> Thank you, Chrissy, and welcome again to the neighborhood. Melissa Harris, welcome to the neighborhood. Bless you. And Irish Gamer, welcome to the neighborhood. Shout out to Haley from One Proud Mama, who's having a bonfire the Sunday before Labor Day camp out. Mm. And congrats on playing the flute in sixth grade. Megan tried the flute, remember? Yep. Yeah. It's kind of hard when you first get started to get the airflow properly, mm. but once you do it, you got it, girl. So good yes, luck you. and have a good time with that and have a great time on your camp out. Lori Webb, congratulations to you. 113 days smoke free. I think you're in the clear now. Yeah. When I quit smoking, it was like, it just, once you get past the first month, you're okay. Yeah, so, we think you're in the clear. And Erica Yuntz, congratulations on the birth of your beautiful baby girl. And Maria Cisnerita, thank you for the advice. Kevin and Dave will be visiting all the real estate offices in Corona and Riverside. We'll be pestering people. Yeah, and they can be pretty pesky, pesky if Pester. they want to. Pestery. Pesky. 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 They can pesky. be pretty pesty. 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 pesky, pesky. They can be pains in the butts when they want to be. Trust me. Jay-Z Crazy, shout out to you. He first found us on Nikki and John's channel, and he's been watching for a while. Sure he is. also has a channel, so go by and check his channel out. That's Jay-Z Crazy. Okay, thoughts and prayers to one proud mama. The doctors want to remove part of her pancreas because of lesions. No. But they're not sure what part and how much, and you can't live without a pancreas, so they're still kind of in discussions about what they're going to do. Update from Music and music Lyrics 15 on both the hamster and her uncle. Her hamster is a lot better. His head, head tilt is gone and he is eating and drinking normally. They think it was a reaction to the stress and the medication. His eyes seemed to be infected, so I have been bathing it and it seems in, it's, I've been seeing improvements. Thank God. Um, my uncle, on the other hand, is not so good. He scored low on his dementia test, and they are unsure when he can come home. At least he's getting good care. Well, we're happy to hear about your ha hamster, Harry, I believe his name was. And i um, glad he's doing well, and we're so sorry about your uncle, and we will continue to keep him in our thoughts and prayers, as well as I'm sure the community will. Celtic Moon Orchid. I haven't commented in a while. I just wanted to say I see you, especially you, Val. I've been struggling with severe physical and mental strife myself. You are not alone. I have CPTSD, which comes from several disorders. Rapid cycling, BPD, among those. I'm not exactly sure what BPD is if that means bipolar well, disorder. That's, that's what I would say. Bipolar that's what I disorder. thought it meant too, which is what I have. Um, and I'm so, so very sorry. She lost her daughter on June 26th. Oh. And she does, I don't know how I'm going to push through on top of everything else. I'm so sorry for the loss of your daughter. I know how difficult it is um, losing my father a little over a year ago um, in this past June on the 24th. Um, it's very, very difficult. And um, don't let anybody tell you there's a time limit for grief. Grieve as long as you need to grieve. And um, 
I told you in my comment back to you that I'm here if you ever need to talk, and I am for here if you do ever need to talk. Um, having the same medical issues and going through a similar situation as a year ago. If you do need to talk, just reach out and I'll be for you. Okay, my question last week was how long have you been watching The Neighbors? Alex Griffin, I have been watching you guys since day one. Love you guys. Thank you. Thank you, Alex. We've been um, comment. I know you've been commenting on um, Twitter, Instagram, as well as YouTube, and you have been a faithful follower since day one, and we greatly appreciate it. Thank you so very much. Sherry Tate, cannot say that I've been a subscriber since day one, but pretty close. I think I joined the neighborhood community on the vlog called Nikki and John and the Return of the Dragons, so that was fairly close to the beginning. That's yes, great. that was pretty close to the beginning, and you have been a faithful watcher and commenter ever since, and we greatly appreciate you. Tanya Longley, you cheat, Tanya. Val's question made me feel like a creeper, he little creeper. Yeah. Laugh out loud. I have been watching since the neighbors and one cricket. That was the very first video. That would be the beginning. We have known each other much, much longer. Tanya and I grew up together, and she has been one of my best friends my entire life. Bambi S, about two and a half years now. And not only does Bambi watch us, we hang out a lot with Bambi and Kirsty, and they have become great, great friends of ours. So we greatly appreciate them. Susie here. I've been watching you guys for two to three years. I found you through Nikki and John. Now I'm hooked. Love you guys. <laughs> Thank you, Susie here. We love you too, and we are so glad you found us through Nikki and John and that you are hooked. Music and music lyrics 15. I've been watching you for well over two years, but not sure which video I started on. I've seen most. We have 1700 videos, guys. That's so, if just you've on this seen, one channel. that's just on this one channel, The Neighbors. So, if you've seen them all or most of them, wow. we are greatly appreciative of all the support that you guys have given us, and we are very thankful and love you all. Trisha Weiss, I've been watching since day one. Again, thank you, Trisha, for being such a faithful subscriber. Master Yoda, I've been here since day one also. Yes, you have, and we always remember all of your comments that you guys make to us. Pete Price, I think I've been watching for two years, and I watch Nikki and John and Iris now. Good shout-outs, prayers to everyone who needs them. Thank you, Pete and Sue. We've been so happy to have you guys join us when you joined us, and you guys have been great supporters and great friends of ours since you've been with us, and we love you being a member of our community. Terry Johnson, I first saw you on Nikki and John. I guess I've been watching since the earliest videos. Terry Johnson never misses a video, never misses a comment, and she's always there to support us and she's even answered some comments for us when we've been unable to get to people. So we very much thank Terry Johnson for always being there for us. Yep. My question this week is what is your favorite neighborhood community YouTube video? Let us know. And I'm going to turn it over to Kevin now so he can do his question. My thing. I do my thing. He can do his thing. Oh, well, yeah, last week's question had to do with Hatchet 2, which we just watched. And the question was, uh, why did it disappear after only two days in the theater? And the, the answer is... Uh, the uh, MPAA refused to give Hatchet 2 an R rating because of the extreme violence. There were ha they would have to be so much cut from the movie uh, to make it an R rating. Uh, they were, weren't willing to do it because it would have it would have um, destroyed the, the continuity of the story. They couldn't reshoot it because of uh, cost, um, so it was pulled from the theater after two days because of the extreme violence. So, and I didn't think it was that violent. There was one well, scene that... Yeah, there was one scene that could be considered inappropriate, right? And those who got that correct was Kirsty Scott, Tanya Longley, The Abyss 92882, and Terry Johnson. Woohoo! Congratulations to all of you! Alright, today's question has to do with the 2014 movie, 
Babadook. Remember that one? Ah, uh, I do. Good movie. Good movie. Uh, this was a question I actually had, and I had to find it. Where did the name come from? What does it mean? Babadook. Babadook. There you go, guys. There you have it. You are all part of our neighborhood community, each and every one of you out there. We would not be here if it was not for all of you out there. We love you all so very, very much. Please tune in next week for another episode of Shout Out! <laughs> and uh, please remember to leave a comment and share our video with your family and friends. But most of all, please subscribe. Catch you next week. Yeah. You got the thing. <laughs>